Chicago police are trying to crack down on loitering between two very popular businesses. And authorities say teens gathering outside of an Aldi and a cookout restaurant now has reached a breaking point. Well, just last week, someone was stabbed during a fight. As Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce explains, the large gatherings are impacting officers' ability to do their jobs. Monroe police already have a short amount of resources. They say loitering wouldn't be as big of a problem if it hadn't evolved into fistfights and hospital patients. All get together uh, and just hang out, but and that, that would be fine if that's what they did. That's what this Aldi on Roosevelt Boulevard used to be known for. A simple hangout spot for teenagers, but Monroe police are getting called out here more than ever, and it has overnight officers stretched incredibly thin. When you've got 75, 100 people out there causing a disturbance, fighting, you can't just send one officer. Overnight, there are six to eight officers on patrol with two sergeants and a lieutenant. They'll basically have to send everybody that's working to that one scene. Monroe Police Lieutenant Stephen Morton says gatherings have grown to include 75 to 100 teenagers at any given time. On May 23rd, fist fights broke out between a group of teens from Indian Trail and a group from Monroe. They've had a riff and uh, for whatever reason, uh, and I guess the other night it just kind of escalated. But this has been going on for a while and it's just gotten worse. During the young man that was uh, stabbed, uh, he was actually engaged in a fight, and it appears that someone came up from behind him and stabbed him. The stabbing came three days after a memorial gathering in the Aldi parking lot, where police say drivers were burning out their tires, racking up a cost of $10,000 in damages to the parking lot. Burned holes into the uh, asphalt. Uh, they were doing so much burning out. These groups aren't giving up once officers show up. It's like whack-a-mole. They leave one spot, then go to another, and then another. If you have that many people, it's hard to enforce that many people at one time. They'll basically have to send everybody that's working to that one scene, so that takes away from other areas of the uh, city. And of course, you know, we always have something going on right. all over. So uh, yeah, you're taking that, that officer that's supposed to be on, you know, the uh, west side of Monroe, has to come all the way over to the east side of Monroe. Police say that if they have to arrest someone, that takes a patrol officer out of the mix for roughly two hours. Then if they have to take a patient to the hospital, it's taking one officer out for potentially the whole shift. In Monroe, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.